Hi there. I am representing webtrackofficial.org. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at webtrackofficial.org. In this video I am going to show you how you can fix this 403 forbidden error from your WordPress website. I experienced this issue when I was configuring the multi-language on my site. If you want to make your site multilingual for free, you can do that by watching my video. Let me first clarify that this 403 forbidden error and this forbidden error are two separate errors that are triggered by two different events. First, let's talk about this forbidden error. There are several possibilities for this forbidden error, and the main reason for this is .hd access file. If you have no idea how you can create a new .hd access file and where to place it, you can learn by watching my video here. You can also download the fresh .hd access file from description below. Additionally, your website might be infected with malware and it's the cause for this problem. If you want to protect your website from malware for free, you can protect it by watching this video. Now let's come back to this 403 forbidden error. This 403 forbidden error is caused by mod security. First let me clarify what mod security is. Mod security is an open source web application firewall supported by different web servers. The module is configured to protect web applications from various attacks. Mod security supports flexible rule engine to perform both simple and complex operations. It comes with a core rule set, which is various rules for cross website scripting. SQL injection, session hijacking and more, but sometimes, mod security will deny access to legitimate requests, resulting in 403 and other error. In that case, you need to disable the mod security from your cPanel. So from your cPanel, search for mod security. Here you can see, mod security said that itself. Now to fix this, just click disable and you should be good. Instead of disabling the module, I would highly recommend, to contact your hosting provider, to whitelist the rules for your domain, so that mod security keeps on running to protect your site. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.